the vision lingers. I've seen some things this week, and I'm going to tell you what the Lord has released me to tell you. I feel this is a time that we need to hear the voice of Jesus. I don't know if you know what it is to see a lingering vision, something that just stays, at least for several hours. You see it real vivid, and then it's just there for a while, and you, you see it. I've seen several things this week, and I'm going to go back first to some time back. I seen a dream vision and heard it was almost audible, very, very loud when I woke up, devastation within and without. I've had people this week talk about how that, you know, they don't want to hear any warnings. They want to just go on believing everything is fine. I feel like the Lord let me feel and, and spoke to me and it was confirmed right before I made this video to only tell the parts that he puts on my heart right now. He showed me things and I, I told the Lord here walk back, Jesus, you come to me. You talk to me because I want to see. I don't want to be blind. I don't want to be deaf. I want to know what is fixing to happen in the land. I want to know what's what's coming on the land and the earth. And I want to know what Jesus wants me to do in my own life to be ready and prepared. And for those that don't want to prepare, for those that don't want to seek the Lord, there's there's nothing I, I can do about those people except pray. And you know, there comes a point that, that God even tells us, don't pray for this people. And you might not know that. But he said it. He said it through his prophets of old, and he's saying it today. Don't pray for this people. You know, there's people that have completely rejected the word of the Lord. That wants nothing to do with the things that Jesus is telling his servants to warn. They want to go on planting tulips, and you know, there's nothing wrong with planting a tulip. But planting tulips and, and, and doing, having their good times and thinking that the world is going on as always. But I've seen almost every night this week of devastation. One night it just lingered. The vision lingered. Every time I would try to get off to sleep, the vision was there. Not daydreams. I don't daydream. If a daydream comes in my head, I rebuke it. We don't have time to daydream. We don't have time to think our own thoughts. We're supposed to have let this mind be in us, which was also in Christ Jesus. We're supposed to know the mind of the Lord in this evil day. We're supposed to watch and pray and not be drunk as some are. And I'm not talking about physical drunk, but spiritual drunk as many are and not knowing the day of the hour. But this week I've seen, and I've seen it several nights, and of just buildings collapsing, devastation. As the dream vision that I seen some time back, I saw lightnings, I saw thunders, I saw that there was no place safe. There was no place of refuge except in Christ Jesus. I thought in this at this time that this is it. When I would go inside a place, it was on the inside. Complete devastation. I'd never seen anything like it. Just quakings and, and complete turmoil, complete chaos. And then I would go outside. And when I would go outside, there was lightnings and thunders and the ground quaking and nothing. And when I thought, this is it, I will surely die. The Spirit of God just picked me up and set me in a place of refuge and moved me. Somebody said, do you believe that God will do that? 
I believe that God will do what he has to do for his children. That, you know, blessed are those that die in the Lord from henceforth. It's appointed unto man wants to die. And after this is judgment. You know, people are going to die. But there's going to be many that's going to be kept in this time of chaos and trouble. This week in the visions, I saw buildings collapsing. I saw troubled waters. I saw as in something falling like leaves from the heavens. I saw the trees like being shaken and the leaves was falling off of them. Everything is going to be shaken, but I'm going to tell you something. There is a place of refuge in the Lord, Jesus Christ. If, if, my friends, we hear his voice, and we don't put the evil day far away, and we don't shun what his servants are telling us in this hour, Joel said that it would come to pass in the last days that he would pour his spirit out on all flesh. And yes, that began happening. In the early church, we read about it in the book of Acts. Where his spirit was poured out, the sons and the daughters began to prophesy. Old men seem dreams and young men seem visions, but I got news for you. God's using men and women and boys and girls. And if you're hearing the voice of Jesus, there's no respect of persons. Let the Lord Jesus Christ talk to you in this hour. It makes no difference who says God can only come to certain people, or God can only come to their pastor. Friends, the vision lingers. The vision lingers. I heard it. And you know, I didn't wait till God knocked me out of my chair to do this video. I warn you that many things are coming on the land. And I also warn you that these things are not just for other countries. They're for all countries. Devastation is rocking the nations, and it's going to rock more. Some of the things that I have seen, I hold in myself reason. You know, there's many out there that can't receive and won't receive the word of the Lord. They want nothing to do with it unless you're going to speak a word. Bless you, bless you. Then they don't want it, but I can't bless what God has cursed. I can't bless what people has walked away and denied the only Lord Jesus Christ that bought them with his blood. He bought us with the blood at Calvary. And people don't want it. They want it. They want it for a pleasant song. They want the preachers as a pleasant song. But the words of Jesus are a reproach unto them. They don't want them. They don't want anything to do with the words of Jesus. And they don't want anything to do with his servants. And they want no one to use the word warn or talk about the things that people need to do because people have set themselves above God, above the Lord Jesus Christ. Let me tell you something. The nations are as a drop in the bucket. I seen this morning, we are but a speck. He loves us. We're his children, if so be that we have been bought by the precious blood of the Lamb, that we have turned our lives completely to Jesus Christ and are walking in the Spirit and not the flesh. You wonder why you don't see things. Because He's not coming to people that's walking in the flesh. People that want their own desires. People that want their own ways. People that want that any do will do religion. He's coming to a sought out people. A people that know his voice when he calls their name. Like he did Samuel. As he was a little child, he said Samuel. And Samuel thought it was Eli calling him. And he went and he said, did you speak to me, Eli? And he went about three times. And he asked Eli, he said, have you talked to me? Are you calling my name, Eli? And Eli told him after he went to him a few times, he said, Samuel, you go back. And the next time you hear this voice, you ask God, are you talking to me? Is this your voice, Father? I come here and I, I'm before you. Is this you, God, talking to me? You know, if God would speak to a lot of people, they would shrug it off. But the vision lingers. This is going to happen whether I want it, whether my grandchildren and my children want it, whether your children want it, whether you want it. No matter who wants what, 
The end of all things is at hand. The day of the Lord is upon us, and the day of the Lord cometh from a destruction from the Almighty. And there's not very many people that's ready for the day of the Lord. They're ready, as they call it, you know, they want revival. <laughs> they want revival. Well, I'm going to tell you what Jesus wants. He wants revival in you, in me. He wants me to revive myself. Seek him until he's found. He wants you to revive yourself. Revival has to start in people that say they're God's people. They want God to do things their way. I said yesterday on a post, on a status, on Facebook, we don't have a way. It's the Lord's way. Or it's no way at all. It's the broad way. It's a highway to hell. I come here today to tell you that the vision lingers. I see buildings collapsing. I see, somebody said you watch too many videos. No, I don't watch many videos. What I see is the Lord telling us that it's time. It's time right now to seek him, to call up on him while he's near. Let him talk to you. He'll tell you these things. He'll warn you these things. It's time to cry out to God. The hour is late. Fear is going to overcome many. They're going to turn to drugs and pills and alcohol. Turn to Jesus. He's your answer. The vision lingers. Many things is fixing to come. There will be devastation without and within. And without your safety being in the Lord Jesus Christ, there will be no safety. That is the only place of refuge is in Jesus, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. May the Lord Jesus bless you.